Thank you, thank you. Eye contact. <laughs> hey, how can you tell if somebody's looking at you if you're looking at a person? Because he or she may be looking somewhere and you may be thinking he or she's looking at you. So the bottom line is, how can you tell? <laughs> you know, I'm asking this question simply because two weeks ago I went to the club for the first time. Yes, I went to the club with my roommate, Paul, right? Now we went to the club simply because Paul suggested we go to the club so that we can, you know, I can personally network with other people who may like my music and what I do and, you know, networking so that I can have some people to like me on Facebook and Instagram and whatnot, right? So that, that was like a wonderful idea, right? And we went to this specific club in San Francisco simply because this club is where most techies, most engineers, most people from um, Facebook, Google, Internet, this is where apparently they go clubbing. So we intentionally wanted to go there so that we can make some friends from those people and they can help me promote my work. Wonderful idea, brilliant idea, right? So we drove four hours to San Francisco for that. No joke, four hours, man. So we go to the club, we go there like 11.30 in the evening, and when we go there, there are two young men, seven feet tall, 500 pounds, they're in front of the door, and this, these are the medical bouncers, right? I've, nev I've never been to a club before, so I don't know who they are, but they look very serious, like in suit and tie, and they look very serious, right? Big guys, right? No joke guys, right? No, and they watch your ID, they, 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 they ask you for your ID, they look at your ID, they look at your face, they look at your ID, they look at your face, they look at your ID, just to make sure you are above 21, right? Then they let you go in. <laughs> so when I walk into the club, the club was so dim. The light was so dim. You could barely see people, right? It was so dim. It was popping. It was, you know, like it was jamming, you know what I'm saying? The music was good. I could feel the music. I'm like, yo, this is the time for me to show my dancing skills. I came here to dance, right? So walking into the club, I saw the big disco ball, right? Which would blacklit your dress, you know, like, like this would shine when you go under it, you know? So I went under it, you know, for like three minutes, you know, because for a young man or any young man, best of mine, Meaning, if you're going to a club, you're going to a club because maybe 80% of the time you're trying to, you know, get a, a girlfriend or miss almost right or miss right or, you know, whatever you're looking for, right? I mean, a woman may be going to the club also for the same thing, right? But, but I think you need to have your, a very good self-esteem when you're in a club. You need to have your A game on when you're in a club in order to attract and also to be able to even approach that kind of woman you have, you know, in mind, right? So I went out of the like, Check myself, I look good, it's like a mirror. Like for three minutes my clothes were shining, and it was like a mirror to me, I look good. I did my sign of cross, I said, thank you, Papa God, I've arrived, I'm going to meet a lady today. Yes, I, I, I was pumped, I was confident, I was like, yes, I, I, I have arrived, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, after doing that, I came around, checked the whole scene. Now, most of the young men in the club, for some reason, they have one hand in their pocket, and it's the way they were dancing. You would just stand at one place, and we were like, you know, they were like, I'm like, whoa. Like most of the men, right? Apparently, they are playing cool. Apparently, that is what they do. Apparently, that's how you have to do. You have to, like, play cool. So they were like, cool, 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 right? And now when I look here, I can see 40 women, like four zero women. Dancing with each other, elbow to elbow. The ladies were dancing with each other, elbow to elbow, and the men were not dancing with them. The men were standing and they were dancing that way. So I look around and I call Paul. Now, when you're in the club, the music may not be that loud, but you have the tendency to yell when you're talking to your friend because you think your friend may not hear you. So I said, Paul. So this is Paul, this is me. Paul is so close to me that if I do like this, I will head from Paul, right? I said, Paul, I see the ladies. How are we going to get to where the ladies are? Dance with the ladies so I can get the information, the networking, the Google, the Yahoo, the Instagram, all the social stuff we came here to get the networking stuff so we can network. And Paul said, Quasi. You see how the men are dancing? I'm like, yes, they're just standing with my hand in their pocket and they are playing cool. I said, that is how we do. What? It's like, you see, crazy. If you see a girl here you want to dance with, you have to make an eye contact. I said, Paul, what do you mean? He says, crazy. 
You have to look at the girl eyeball to eyeball. I said, what do you mean? So Paul said, Quasi, look at me, I'm looking at him. So look at my eyes, I'm looking at his eyes. Like, look at my eyeball, I'm looking at his eyeball. He says, okay, Quasi, if you see a girl and you want to dance with, you go, eyeball, 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 eyeball. Look at the girl's eye. The girl looks at your eye. Eyeball, 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 eyeball. Then you dance with her, eyeball to eyeball. Ha <laughs> ha, man. I said, really? Say, yes, sire. See, the same when you go to Rome, you do what the Romans do. Paul is a California. He told me he was a ladies' man. I never even saw him dancing with any lady. I've never even seen him with any lady, but I believe him. You know what I'm saying? So for 10 minutes, I had one hand in my pocket, and I was looking around, hoping that somebody would see my eye contact. But the light was so dim, and the ladies were dancing like that, like that, no woman was dancing like this. So even though I tried to go around and you know try to like remove some of the hands so that I can you know see the eyes, it was difficult because they started dancing backwards because I was creeping them up, you know. So I said, Paul. So Paul came again, and I said, Paul. And Paul was standing right there. And Paul was like, so being a fool, I took it literally. I thought I had to go that close and look at the eyes of the ladies. <laughs> so when the ladies were dancing, I was chasing them all back. All over, all over. So one lady, you know how women, just like some men or most men also do, um, prior to coming to the club, they may spend like one hour to go through their wardrobe to find the perfect dress for the club, right? Hoping they will attract a Mr. Right or Mr. Almost Right or whatever their intention is, right? So they may wear this shoe, remove that shoe, that, 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 that dress, remove that dress, you know, make this makeup, remove that makeup, wig, remove that wig, do whatever they have, earring, remove that earring, you know, whatever, until they find the pepper thing they need, right? But then they come to the club, and they'll cluster around their, their friends, like, like four or five of them will stand at one place, you know, and one of them may see a guy she likes, and she will pretend she has not seen the guy, and she'll be telling her girlfriends, oh my God, that guy, that guy, the, the, the tall one, the tall one. You know, and it'll do all this kind of trying to fix their hair and, you know, trying to tell their girlfriend to look at that guy without knowing that the guy will look at them and try to talk about if that guy was the right guy and whatnot, you know, and the guy may also know exactly what they're doing, but also pretend as if he hasn't seen it. The whole cat and mouse game, which I don't even know why we do that in the first place. Man. So one girl was doing that, right? But she was looking at my direction. So I thought she had seen me. I thought I was an eye contact. So I ran to her. I was like, hey. <laughs> Literally this close, right? I was like that close, right? I was like, hey, I saw your eye and I came to your eye. What the hell? And she was like, so you see, because I saw the teeth, I was thinking she said, well, come. But apparently she was saying, get the hell out of here. That is what she was saying, right? I was freaking out. She was saying, get the hell out of here. But being a fool, taking everything literally, I was right there. I thought I was in the zone. <laughs> I thought she has seen me, I've seen her, and I'm in a zone, and I'm going to impress her to get my networking done, right? So being a fool, I had no pickup line. The pickup line I had was my pickup line. And that pickup line, I'm going to tell you. This is what I said. Hey, my name is Kwesi. And she said, what? I said, my name is Kwesi, like crazy. Man. <laughs> Really? Question like crazy? Is that a pickup line? Man, what the heck? So she was really freaking out, right? And she was like, what? Within three seconds, she said, what? What, right? That is a tap, but ah, it's a smack, right? So I thought I was in the zone right here saying question like crazy, eyeball to eyeball, right? Now, one of the big bouncers who I saw at the gate when I was coming in, all of a sudden, I saw one of them went ah, to my shoulder, I look up. And I saw this huge guy standing right there, next to me, right there, right? And this is what he said. He said, dude, time up. You got to come with me, dude. So I look up. I said, my friend, I don't know. I said, then he said, dude, end up playing with you, yo. You got to come with me, time's up, eh? You got to come with me right now. Right now, you got to come with me, dude. End up playing with you, time's up. So I look up, and I'm so confused. I said, my friend, I think you got the wrong person. My name is not dude. I don't know dude. My name is Kwesi, like crazy. Look at my passport. My name is Kwesi, like crazy. I don't know dude. <laughs> you see, apparently, everybody here is called dude. 
It's like in Ghana, we, everybody calls everybody Charlie, right? So I didn't know dude was like, you know, a common kind of term for everybody, right? And I thought dude was somebody who was misbehaving, and that guy got it wrong. But apparently, I was the dude who was misbehaving. <laughs> so this big bouncer held one of my shoulders to the other one here, held me up, my legs in the air, and I got thrown out of the club. Yes. So we drove four hours to the club. I lasted 10 minutes, 37 seconds in the club, and I was thrown out of the club because I was crazy like crazy. Thank you. Thank you.